Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and I'm reading Prowler, issue number three. Now, I know, like, nobody else is reading this, but I am. So, I'm doing my little video on it. All this is, basically, guys, is Electro, she, Electro, I guess, versus the Prowler. And the Prowler is dying. He's turning into a zombie, whatever happens to the new you guys once they get cloned and brought back to life and they don't have their meds. So, he's dying like this, fighting Electro, who is uber-powerful, Prowler has no powers, and the whole time he's just talking about how he saves himself, how no one's ever helped him out, he's never caught a lucky break, all he's got is his mind, and then that gave him his inventions, his inventions, inventions is what helped him to survive. So it's almost like a mantra that he keeps repeating over and over again, and when he finally defeats Electro, and man, it's a pretty good one, he gets helped by the young Madam Web and he's brought from Alcatraz Island back towards New You. He's not there yet, but he's going there. And it's ironic how he kept on saying, I always saved myself and now he's being saved. But it's good, it's really good. This is a full action comic. Like the whole comic book is action and they do it very well. It's a part of the clone conspiracy. It's not a really good tie-in, but this is, going to come up later. This is absolutely going to come up later. There's no doubt about it. And I can't wait to see how it happens. And I want to see what the Jackal's answer is going to be to Electro going rogue. Guys, I'm going to give this comic a B. It's really good. It's very much stand on its own. You could read it with the rest of the clone conspiracy. It's not necessary, but it does have something to do with it nonetheless. Guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, class dismissed.